Okay. I have been asked to recite the same poem in English since I um, write all my poetry bilingually. The incentive and the motivation was uh, given to me by the tempestuous sea right outside my window from my study. As you can see, the wind is howling out there and the waves are lashing against the rocks. It was on a day like this when I was inspired to write the poem, thinking of uh, an old Greek tenet, warning that the three most danger dangerous elements are tempestuous seas, fire, and women. So I combined these three elements into verse. And as a uh, you can enjoy the view from my window here. I will recite the poem, which I entitled, Woman. O foam embroidered, hissing matron, furl unfurling sea, you storm unleashing, undulating blanket of the deep. What passions, yearnings, secret longings have you surged to sleep? What barnacled forsaken wrecks do in your bosom lie, embraced by curving billows, lulled to slumber by your sigh? And you bright dancers, swirling swayers, all engulfing flames, who men and mighty gods bewitch, vivaciously entice, the light that you endow them with is paid at costly price. For you Hypatian's daughters, fiery hoarders, lick and lash, at all that you insatiably devour and turn to ash. O oh, woman, what's the sea of flame comparing them to you? For I'm tossed and cast, much like a ship that flows along your wake, whose course is plotted out along the swells that form your shape. And like a flame, your feline aura is wrapped around my soul. O oh, element begotten farm, I tremble at your call. Hope you enjoyed it. I wrote this in 1995, but it will be timeless because the sea will always be tempestuous at times. The fire will always be all-consuming and women will be equally enticing and dangerous. Good day.